What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're here in Modern Warfare Zombies, and today we are checking out the brand new SMG with Season 3 available in the Battle Pass, the FJX Horus. Now, I'm expecting this thing to be fairly decent, and as you guys can see, I already have the gold camo equivalent unlocked, so I have used it a little bit. I do know that this thing can be uh, pretty nice to use. There is like a, a pretty fast moving while firing ability that this thing has, which is nice for the hordes of zombies, but I didn't actually really you know, test this thing's full capabilities as I was just knocking out the camos and just leveling up my gun as simple as possible. So that's what we're going to be finding out today. We're going to be doing our normal, start with the base weapon, working our way up all the way to eventually legendary pack three, more than likely seeing how we can compete in each of the, you know, different zones with each of the different um, levels of the weapon. So first things first, I'm going to go grab this bounty and we're going to get started. All right. So the good news is I actually have this weapon leveled all the way up already. So if you guys are interested in checking out the loadout that I am using in today's video, make sure you check the pinned comment down below where I always do my best to share those attachments for easy access. First things first, though, we do need to pop our perks here. Going in without any perks just doesn't seem like the way to go and our dead wire. All right, let's see how we do. We have a, a fairly reasonable ammo reserve with the weapon that's not even pack a punched. And we at least have the guy over here. Let's see if I can get this guy knocked out. Oh, this doesn't, doesn't seem that bad. I mean, we're reloading pretty quickly. But that'll, that'll be problem solved pretty quick. Not doing that much damage to us either. Come on, I got him. Nice. Now this is the biggest magazine that you can have with 48 rounds. I'm going to hold the napalm burst because that might be helpful later on. Hold on to that guy. Stamina press B. Be bad, I don't need it. All right, I need to pop my rare tool here before we decide to fight this guy. Where we at? Rare tool, rare tool, rare tool. Boom. All right, we're looking good. So like I was saying, you can kind of... That's not... Oh, maybe it's because I don't have uh, speed cola yet. Once we get... Oh, no, I, have, I do have speed cola. Huh. Maybe it was an attachment I was using. So it doesn't seem to be as quick as I was saying in this form. I think I swapped the attachment that I had. It might have been... It honestly might have been the stock I was using. So that's unfortunate. To be honest, if we had a bigger mag, this guy would already been gone. I love how the, the Mimic uses the tactic. I'm going to go to the left, and all the zombies are going to attack you. So you can't shoot me in my crit spot. I've always just thought that was such an interesting way to code the Mimic. All right, what do we got here? We got a... We don't need that. We don't need a green tool. We got a blue tool. I will say, though, that, I mean, in base version, it has a pretty decent ammo reserve, which is nice. That is one huge issue you have. The one thing I will say that's going to be tricky is now that there's been some nerfs and buffs with the start of Season 3, obviously we're using this weapon, it's going to be hard for me to determine if this is going to be the best SMG by the end of the match because we we typically know the Ram 9 and the HRM are pretty good. And I think both of those received some sort of adjustment. I don't think the HRM received enough of an adjustment for it to get knocked out of its current position. So it is more than likely that I think the HRM will still be number one. Unfortunately, I grabbed a contract and then it instantly died, you know, how it usually does and has been for a long time. I'm surprised by season three, they haven't fixed that. But what I was basically getting at is by the end of this match, we should be able to determine at least if this SMG is pretty good or not, because we kind of have an idea of what, you know, generally makes a weapon good based on how it feels and how it kind of performs up into certain points in the match. And can it eliminate mega bombs? How does it do? Things like that. So we, we will we'll probably have a rough idea by the end of the match, or a pretty good idea, I should say, of how good the weapon actually performs. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Oh, we got another Mangler. All right, this one should be pretty easy. Let me go ahead, pack a punch level one. The time has come. Now we have a 96 round mag and 720 in in the bag. I like that. Not bad. Oh, he went right around. Oh, that was insanely easy. Another green tool. Man. I wish the green tool was more usable. E4, that's not in my realm. Okay, time to see what we do in the tier two zone. Pack one blue. The one thing that's kind of frustrating is my last match of season two, they reset my containment level again. I'm really hoping in season three that something is fixed. If you're, if you're in the comment section or can post in the comment section down below, let me know if in season three, that's happened to you again yet because I'm curious if that's something they addressed as the patch notes for zombies was so lackluster of course oh look we blew up so 
Don't actually know. We don't know if they fix it, if it's been addressed, if they attempted to do it, anything like that. I can say for certain that the, uh, that, yeah, we're still having the issue. Okay, this thing is not doing too bad. I'll have to reload. All right. Well, that wasn't... That was not bad. Oh, my God. We got a free legendary tool. And some lag. I guess they go together. I haven't had a legendary tool in pack two as a reward and possibly ever. Wait. Is it working now? It's doing that thing I was talking about. See? Maybe it's a pack-a-punch thing. See how fast I move? I don't know why earlier it didn't feel like that. See, I'm moving. I'm sprinting forward and I'm shooting. I'm going to also get smoked if I keep doing that. Yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about. We have a lot of zombies here for what I would determine is no real good reason. Okay, go ahead and get some plates off these guys before we go and find ourselves. Oh, there's a regular disciple. Let's go. I'm kind of curious how we can compete against a disciple. We do have our dead wire. Excuse me? Oh yeah, we have insta kill. I'm dumb. I forgot we had insta kill. I just disintegrated him. I'm like, hello? Okay, so I need to go get another contract. Where, where are we at here? Where are we at? We got one over here. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. We got a disciple. This is what we want. Well... I'm saying this is what we want. I guess we're going to find out if this is what we want. Very possible. It's very possible. Where is it? Oh, no. It's not up top. Really? Wait, what? I'm kind of confused. Is he actually up top? Wait, how is it? Oh, it's going to die, right? What is going on here? I wonder if they're actually fighting it. I can get up on the roof and maybe see? I don't know if I can see. I guess we're going to find out if I can see. I might have to cancel this one. This is stupid, but it is what it is. All right, took me a second to get back over here to the other side of the map now. Or not back over here. Over here to get this other contract. Oh, we are like hugging a freaking... Merc camp, aren't we? I wish these mercs didn't exist, I promise. The, the mode would be significantly better. Turn all the warlords into, like, some sort of cool boss enemy. Get rid of the mercs. W. Alright, here we go. We got another disciple, at least. I'm curious if we're going to be able to do it. Alright, that's a good start. The rate of fire weapons are always decent. Man, this thing cooks. I can't imagine this thing's gonna be like, you know, hard to use with uh, MAGA holding. You're just gonna freaking cook no matter what. Might even be OP with it. That was not hard. We, we're pack one, right? Yeah, pack one blue. That was not hard at all. That was actually insanely easy. I think one of the things with the Disciple is you can kind of like stand in range because you already know what to expect with its moves, whereas the other moves from some of the other enemies are a little bit harder to deal with. Alright. We didn't get another Mimic. Or, not another Mimic. Another Disciple. We got a Mimic. I was kind of hoping we get another Disciple, because I'm going to go Pack-a-Punch level 2 now. So crazy. I feel like this thing was awesome against the, the Disciple. We might have to go see the Stormcaller. Where is the Stormcaller? It's in Tier 1. We might actually go visit the Stormcaller after this. Go ahead and see what we can do here, though. Let me grab this car. Cut down on our time. By at least a little bit. Traveling in MWZ, one of the slowest parts. I know a lot of people just run around with scorchers. That's usually the way to go, but... I don't like having two weapons. I'm a very one-weapon Andy in this game. Do you guys prefer having your fists as a secondary, or do you usually run with two weapons? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you use the VR-11 as a secondary weapon... You obviously have really good movement speed with it, so that's a huge positive.
Okay, I almost got pinched there by zombies. That was cool. Nice. Sometimes the zombies just don't make any sound. Speed Cola, I might hold on to it. Another Napalm Burst, might as well hold on to it. Just in case I decide to use it. Alright, well that wasn't too bad. Okay, so our dude is here. Does he have a ammo reserve nearby? I guess that's the closest ammo reserve. So, I'm gonna head over there. Because I think we can pull that off. Alright, hopefully the Stormcaller is still here. It looks like, yep, looking like it is. Looking like it's dead in the center of the arena. Basically what the storm becomes, it becomes an arena. Look how, how many zombies they are. Alright, so this should be kind of interesting. I think we go... Like this. And then we just push up. I can't... His hand looks all wonked right there. I couldn't even tell where he was shooting. This stuff from. Let's go ahead and throw that down. There we go. Now we can actually see his hand. I want to grab this and all the plates and all the goodies. Get away from him a little bit. Where's he at? I hear him. Where'd he go? Uh. Oh. Wait. Oh, I see him now. I was like, wait, where'd he go? As long as we get good ammo drops, which is looking fantastic right now, we should be okay. And we need to get a little closer to actually maximize our damage here. And get these zombies to chill out a little bit. Okay, I'm running. Be nice if these... Zombies were a little slower. Can't lie. Alright. I'm gonna throw this down again. I feel like I wanna... Because I wanna be able to... Bro, can you stop moving around the back of the zombies? I'm like literally trying to dodge the zombies. Dude's like, nah. I'm gonna throw this down. Holy, bro. They, like, instantly respawned. Okay. I'm hoping we don't have to... I might... Ah, come on, bro. I might actually have to go and get uh, a refill on our gas mask if these guys don't slow down on the respawns here. Bro, there's so many actions this game has, and you can't do enough of them at once. Like, you try to reload, and your guy's trying to pull his gas mask off, but you're also, like, trying to plate. It's crazy. Okay. Still have half my gas mask. We're not shocked yet. Problem is, he's not get I'm not getting a lot of chance to actually hit him, because... Where, where is he even at? He's trying to, like, hide behind the zombies. He's playing hard to get here. He's still doing it. Bro. I'm gonna throw this down. Okay, not bad. Lock on to him, though. Thank you. Okay, this is, this is getting stupid. I gotta go get more... I'm gonna go get more gas masks and come back. Alright, I ran all the zombies away. I wonder if they'll just... They won't respawn right away, I don't think. If I do it that way... So I guess we'll find out. Why can't I break his hand? Bro. Dude, are, are we trolling? Come on. Why is this zombie so strong? These zombies are not created equal. Something's wrong here. Yo, use the decoy. Jesus. Like, we do good damage to him, we just can't consistently fight him. Throw my other decoy. Takes too long for the decoy to start working. I mean, we do, we're doing crazy good damage. 
Yo, that shouldn't still hit me. There we go. All right, let's uh, work on these zombies a little bit. Come on, zombies. I'm gonna get out of the circle. They'll just push over here. I want the. I wish the storm caller would actually get out of the center. Sometimes he does. Sometimes he doesn't. In this case, he's definitely trolling me. All right, come on, come on, zombies. Come on. Like, that guy is, like, not taking damage. I feel like there's more zombies spawning than there normally should be. Oh, he's doing that move. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is our time to shine. Oh, he didn't do it very long. What the hell? He just 42 faked me. Where'd he even go? Did he just disappear? Oh, he's right. Excuse me? Where did he go? Oh, he's right there. He, like, disappeared. I'm gonna throw this. Oh, this is huge. Yeah, there's no way we're killing this dude. Alright. Time to get out of here. I don't know what it is, but... I don't know if they juiced him back up, but this this particular Stormcrawler run just seems impossible. It was either too many zombies, and then he, like, rehealed almost instantly. Kind of confusing. Is what it is. We're out of here. Tier 3 it is. I need to go to the Pack-A-Punch machine, which is always in the worst spot. Alright, we're on our way to Pack-A-Punch level 3. Who knows? Maybe they buffed the zombies with the Season 3 update. Wouldn't be unlike them to do so. All right, I gotta grab this and get the heck out of here. Because we don't have any... way to defend ourselves off the rip. I don't have any decoys, currently. But I do want to get over here, because we're going to fight this mega bomb over on the bridge. And see how well we can actually compete. I think the problem with this thing is its range is going to be a lot more limited. There's always people that comment on my videos when I do these types of videos. That say, oh, well, it's because you're in the AR range, or you gotta be up close. I don't know how y'all play the game, but there is no way that you guys just stay within three meters of every zombie that you fight, including mega bombs, or elite specials, because you're just gonna be laying on the ground the whole time. You can't just stand there getting slammed the entire match in order to do maximum damage. That doesn't make any sense. You gotta play smart. That, that trumps whatever damage thing you're going for. All right, come on, Mega Bomb. Wasn't as close to him as I wanted to be, and I also need to reload. What? Oh, we still destroyed his face. W. That's a good sign, bro. Wish I could teleport across the screen. Come on. Like, let my... What? It's all about slowing you down in this game, I promise you. It's like, why is my character so slow? But when I won, I can walk forward at the speed of light and shoot my gun. It's so crazy. I don't, it doesn't work every time. I don't know what's going. Why, why is that happening? Maybe it's when I only when I'm firing. Do I speed up while I'm sh actually firing? No one asked for a freaking hellhound to show up. You should. I uh, let me know down in the comment section below because I totally disagree with the fact that you cannot sprint and slide past a zombie without them get it guaranteed hit on you. Guaranteed. Doesn't matter how far away they are, they could be 10 meters away. The game's like programmed to make sure that they hit you. We're actually cooking with this thing. Yep, he's gonna do the short dashes. Oh, this guy does not. I don't want your help, buddy. Please don't don't help me. I'm having a great time right now without you. Can we just do our abilities? That's what I would love for you to do. Or you do that. 
That'll work. Okay. He's just gonna... Yep. Yeah. And we get close, and we should be able to cook. He doesn't... Whenever I'm actually in a good position, he doesn't do the ability long enough. He, like, laser abilities for two seconds. Where's this hellhound that's making noise? Is that him or the hellhound? I guess where the hell Yeah. Okay, go ahead and reload. Like... It's crazy. It's like RNG. Open your mouth, bud. Stop trolling me. Wait. Excuse me? Uh... What happened? Excuse me? This man has full health! What did they change? Oh lord, that's not good. We were cooking them too. I gotta go over. I gotta go over here. There's no like. I don't have any bullets. I'm gonna have to get another. What is going on here? I feel like the aggression level is just stupid right now. They definitely tweak something because mega bombs aren't supposed to get their health back unless it was the disciple. Did the disciple juice the mega bomb? I mean, that wouldn't even make sense. Bro, can we... This is just dumb. Okay, thank you. Give me all the plates, give me all the ammo. That's all I care about. I don't care about the rest of the stuff. Alright, let's go try this again. This is, uh, very interesting. To say the least. I th We had that in the bag, like, no problem. All right, here we go. Destroyed it. One mag. Love it. Don't love that the zombies do that. Stop doing that. Like trying to plan the cutoff. Okay. Should be doing his ability soon. He's not going to. I might have to get to this spot. Let's see right here. Some reason that spam he spams it right there. All right. As long as you hit all the shots, you're guaranteed in one mag to break his face, even with a blue. All right, right here. Perfect spot. The zombies are too damn fat. I, hey, what the hell is that? That was cheesy. That was really cheesy, Mega Bomb. I'm not. I'm not cool with that. Last face is a little stronger, apparently. Bro. Hello? Like... You dash like... Okay. Whatever you say, bud. Whatever you say. Everything is slowing me down dramatically. Like... There we go. Got him. Why is there so many zombies right now? Like, brother. Did I, did I start a contract somewhere? Personally, if they're going to make changes, I don't really mind. The problem that I have is that they make changes and they don't ever tell us. It's, everything is a secret. Everything. The only thing that wasn't a secret is the uh, the changes they made to the, the purifier, basically. All right, now we know we can kind of get this. I mean, this thing's kind of nice. Let's go ahead, get some plates, reload, slide out of the way. I'm probably going to go legendary here, and we're going to try to do a contract. Let's just try to fight all this stuff off real quick. We got all these hellhounds. These zombies just appear out of nowhere. Forgot to have a scorcher. I might throw that crap on the ground. I know people like it because it moves around quicker, but... 
for me right now, it's not what I want to be doing. And I'm not really trying to move around super fast. I would kind of want to fight stuff in the tier 3 zone. Where'd that Mimic go? Did I kill him? This is where I saw a Mimic, but now I don't see him. You can, like... Maybe it's a tax sprint thing that I, that I was doing. No, nah, it doesn't feel like that either. I don't know. Some, some way you can sprint at the same time. While you're shooting and it works out really well. Alright, there's that. Let me check this. Nothing crazy. Where's our Mega Abomination battle? We got the one that's in a pretty decent spot, actually. They really gotta fix the range on the zombies. I don't know why that's not something that, like, I don't, yeah. I don't get why they make it cheesy. Like, just, if I'm not in the di in the range, don't let it hit me. And if I'm in range, let it hit me, and we'll be good. Seems like a very easy concept. All right, we're gonna fight everything that comes up here, apparently, because we have to. We don't get a choice. I was gonna get ammo, but I guess this could work out as a better way to get the ammo. Absolutely cooked. It's crazy, dude. How many zombies are coming up here? I mean, maybe they made... Uh, again, maybe they made some adjustments again. Something seems kind of weird. Like, I literally came and moved forward without another zombie jumping up here. Okay. All right, now we're looking pretty good. Backup plates. How are we looking on ammo? Almost full, basically. All right, I guess we could... It could work out, actually, potentially. Time to fight our buddy here. I think we're doing this legendary. Boom, boom, boom. All right, we're looking all right here. He's going to shoot right at us immediately. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Try to reload my gun while I had a chance to. It's going to, yep, that's kind of what I was afraid of. Get up here. Hurry up. Just trying to bait him. Come on. Hurry up. Okay, we destroyed that guy's face instantly. It's so inconsistent. It's kind of weird. Okay. That one, like that one died instantly. This right one should be gone. Hurry up, do it. Yeah. Stop throwing stuff at me, zombies. Thank you. Got him. Ooh, purple tool. That's nice. Kind of sad we didn't get more plates from them, but whatever. All right, legendary is looking nice on this weapon. I do like this weapon. I think. At this point, it's going to be kind of tough to say, but I am planning to do those top five SMGs, top five weapons, things like that throughout this season. But I do anticipate this thing could make it up there with the SMGs. It's going to be a little bit more of how much did certain weapons change and stuff before I fully decide that, but it definitely feels like a good weapon. I definitely feel like it is solid. Solid enough to definitely be using. Go ahead and cook this guy again. Yeah, like, look at that. Oh, that... Got it! Dude, and the range doesn't seem like it's mattering as much as I thought it was. At least not right here. Okay, I gotta reload, because not problems arise. He's just shooting in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that, that is awesome. Absolutely crushed him. Once again, what do we get? Give us a blue tool? Wow, that's a slap in the face. That is a huge slap in the face. Where is our storm? Storm's there. Our guy's here. We're gonna head in that direction, but I do want to run around in here. This weapon is actually pretty nice for this for this area. I think it's mostly because of the high rate of fire. I wish I knew, and maybe someone in the comment section will be able to tell me how that sprinting while shooting thing was working and why it's not working all the time. And I could just be dumb. But for me, it's not working the whole time. I don't know what's up with that. But that is a, definitely a nice feature. It's working, it's working right there. Do you see that? Not working again. 
There it is. Now it's working. It's like I'm stuck in a. I must. It's like I'm not supposed to be able to do that. Kind of what it feels like, to be fair. Yo, can I reload my gun before you start smacking me? Oh, we got. There we go. There we go. We're actually looking pretty good here. Might be able to get our, our Borealis camo in this match. Go ahead and get plated up. I think now we just need the elites. Yeah, got one right there. Boom, nice. Cooked. Yeah, I mean, this isn't bad. Now that we're actually running around in this zone, spending some time just fighting the zombies, not really all that bad at all. The other thing, too, we haven't really had any ammo issues for the most part, at least not that I've noticed, which is a nice change of pace. There's been so many weapons where I'm like, man, this weapon would be great if it didn't consistently run out of ammo. I kind of want to know what's causing that. I'm going to be honest. Because if I could do that... I don't know what's... Yeah, I can't get it to work every time. But if I could get it to work every time, that'd be insane. Oh my god, he's so fast. Bro, he is angry. Yo, did they make him faster? He's gonna knock me off. Oh my god. Yeah, do that. That's exactly what I want you to do. Dude. Destroy! Holy smokes, we actually did. Plate, plate, plate. Solid, what's this? Speed coal, I don't need it. Alright, looking great. I actually really like this weapon. If you guys are looking for a very solid SMG, something, something different outside the usual, I'm definitely liking this a lot. I could see myself using this more. It is definitely not in a position where I'm like, you know what, this thing needs to be pack three to do stuff in... Tier two, that does not seem to be the case. Could even be a really solid SM, like secondary, not SMG. Could be a really solid secondary if you're one of those people that doesn't mind having two weapons. And doesn't seem all that slow either. I mean, now we're obviously legendary pack three. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. It does seem like it's a mega bomb destroyer though. I will say that. All right, let's go over here. I think I'm gonna do another bit. I just wanna, I'm having fun with this. Now that we're all juiced up, this thing's crushing. Crushing. Come on, Mega Bomb, you spawning? We're gonna get another one before we, we head out on our journey? Yeah, look at that. Only negative, I'm getting hit by every zombie in the book. I don't have plates for this. I don't have any plates. Bro, this, this, dude, this abomination is insane. I'm gonna throw this down. I just want to get to the plates, bro. That's it. That way I don't have to worry about getting actually slammed. <laughs> get away from me, hellhound. I, for, I keep forgetting I have this stupid scorcher. Yo, stop dashing. Stop doing that move. He's got to have a limit. Dude, this guy is crazy. It's like, stop, bro. I just want plates. Dude, this guy is out of his mind. What is going on with this mega bomb? He's like, I'm not letting you get plates, bro. You, you, you're you gonna cook me if you get plates. He gone. Rest in peace, brother. The 400 zombies ain't saving you today. Holy smokes. 
That was chaos. There we go. We got that. We got it again. Wait, is it? Oh wait, I think I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. Let's go. I figured it out. If you spam ADS while you're sprinting forward, that's how it works. So, see? I move way quicker that way. That is a, that is busted for this. That actually makes it really good. I know that sounds weird, but it does make it way better than it already is. I need to make it over to the extract. Now we'll use this since it's going to actually provide a benefit. We're headed over to extract, though. I think we finally found success. We definitely found success, not finally. The weapon is very good. I would recommend using it for SMGs. It's hard for me to determine right now where the Ram 9 is sitting, where the HRM is sitting. So that could be, you know, something that changes in the future. But I definitely like this weapon. I think a lot of you will enjoy it as well, especially if you take advantage of that. Yeah, it's like, only if I press that, like... Oh, now it's working again. Well, I'm, see, it's working like this. Look at this. Now you can see what I'm talking about. Like, look at this movement. If I can get it to do that the whole time, which is... It doesn't seem... I don't seem as fast backward. For some reason, going forward just seems broken. Maybe it's not supposed to happen. Maybe it's a bug. Because that seems crazy. Oh my god. Well, I had a ton of fun with this weapon, I gotta be honest. And this this part right here, if I could, like I said, if I can make that more consistent, I'm down. Alright, we made it over to Xfil. Like I said, I think this weapon is a blast to use. It's a nice new addition. Has just enough ammo in the, in the mag. Has a great reserve for everything to be successful. Go out there and make sure you guys hit your battle pass hard enough to unlock this thing and try it for yourself. But that's gonna wrap things up for us here. Thank you guys for all the support to this video, all the support in the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.